Good morning and welcome back to the channel. This is Never Twelve to Rock. I'm your host Jim, and you can call me Jim. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, you know you what you guys are. Fucking awesome. I love you loads. Uh, also, to all those that have uh, asked me to be uh, YouTube friends, thank you, and I accept. So, you know, just putting that out there. Uh, if you're just clicking onto this channel just to find out what the channel's about, it's reactions to rock, metal, 80s music. I throw in the 80s stuff because not all of the 80s was bad, not all of it was cheesy. There was some good stuff out there and I enjoyed listening to them when I was a kid. They bring back some, some good memories for me um, and I enjoyed listening to them back then and I continue to enjoy listening to them now. So I throw them in every now and then. No, but it's it's primarily rock and metal though. Um What have I got for you today? Well one of my favourite songs is Faith No More, the Cowboy song. From the album Live at the Brixton Academy, which I've I think came out nineteen ninety or something in that sort of area. Uh, I mean, this this song should have been on the uh, the real thing album, but it wasn't. I think the album was called The Real Thing. Um, so I'm, it's early morning. My brain hasn't really sort of engaged at the moment. So, you know, I'm, I'm just doing these videos over breakfast and yeah, got a lot to do today. Um, but I think it was called The Real Thing. Um, And it's just one of them tracks that just, I don't know, it just draws you in. It's not many songs out there that can sort of draw you in. Uh, but when, when I first heard this, I was, what, 17? 16, 17 years of age. And... Uh, Yeah, it drew me in. It had that, as you know, I like songs that are, you know, got a unique sound and things like that. Uh, and for me, at the time, this was a unique sound because, you know, I, I'd been listening to some, you know, rock and metals and. I'll be honest, you know, it 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 sounded sort of like the same, you know, but I still enjoyed them. And then I heard this, and I thought, "Oh, this is different. I quite like this. It's, it's you know they're using instruments that I've not heard in uh, rock music before." Or metal. Um, so it was sort of like at a, at a time when the rock bands were starting to use uh, synthesizers and pianos and things like that, and you know, but they were just starting to starting to do that, so they were becoming more 
you know, inclusive of other other instruments. But I heard this and I thought, ooh, that's different. I like that. Um, and you can tell from the the beginning of the song, you know. Um, but like I said, this was way back. I'm sh I might be wrong, but I think it was 1990 some something like that. And uh, I thought, yeah, I like this song. And I, even to the to this day, it's on my playlist. So I enjoy it, enjoyed it that much. And uh, it was during a during a sort of uh, you know a rough patch for me because I just left school. Um, I was about to go to college, and I don't know why I bothered. I mean, all I did at college was get drunk, skip classes, and uh, yeah, it caused a little bit of trouble. Um. So I only did a year at college, but you know, there's songs like this that you know help me get through the the rough patches. So I thought I'll, I'll share it with you. If you've heard this, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't heard this, well, here we go. Let's do this.
See? I had that. I mean, especially back then. Especially back in 1990. This was a unique sound. I just didn't. I really enjoyed the, the hell out of this. I really did. It just had that sort of. I mean, to to me. I'm I'm sure that you know other bands were sort of doing it, but to me, this one sort of stood above the others. Um. It's just a great, a great, great track. Um, and I enjoyed it. I really did. I, I think for me this was probably in nineteen ninety. For me, song of the year. Yeah. Um. There was just something about it. I enjoy uh, that. That's why it's in my playlist. You know, because like I said, my early years on this fucking planet weren't good ones. Uh, went through a lot. Uh, Lost my sister at thirteen due to a, a brain tumor. After that, things sort of went downhill. Uh, got into a, a lot of trouble because I wasn't able to control my feelings. But the one way that I I learnt how to control it was through rock and metal. And it's bands like this, like Iron Maiden, Guns N' Roses, <sighs> Aerosmith, ACDC, yeah I'm not even going to say, say it, even Bon Jovi, you know, These were the bands that sort of helped me sort of control my, my feelings, helped me express myself a little bit more. And I'm always going to be grateful to them bands for doing that for me because no, no other fucker was helping me. You know, they, they, they didn't care, but I felt that. These bands helped me more than any fucking psychiatrist could ever do. Um, because they wanted me to go to a psychiatrist because I was out of control. And my words were, fuck that. I'm not spouting off my, all my secrets to a fucking stranger. Why would I want to do that? And I learned how to express myself in what I was listening to and uh, this just happened to be one of them songs you know I, I, I know what you're saying but you know you find yourself standing on the, the edge I suppose at that time I suppose that's probably what The position that I was in, um, sort of mentally speaking. There you are, on the edge. And all you can do is look down. And that spoke to me, that did. Because I thought, what the fuck am I doing? You know, I could sink lower or I could raise myself up. And I chose to raise myself up. And it's because of songs like this. So I'm I'm always gonna be grateful to, to songs like this. You know? So that's why. 
um, I, I would say that rock and metal going all the way back to the 60s and that best genre of music of all time better than pop better than rap just the best it is it's just the best and I'll never I'll never ever ever grow old of listening to it that's all I can say anyway I hope you enjoyed the video uh, please leave a like please subscribe please check out my other videos and as I said at the beginning I have a patreon page uh, if you'd like to donate or you know show support for the channel um, feel free um, just type in my name and uh, my page will come up and, um, yeah uh, that's if you want to um, would be nice uh, but if, if not then I completely understand. Um, so, uh, yes, I shall catch you all in the next one. Peace.